Hello everyone, today I'm gonna make a modding tutorial for Totally Equate Battle Simulator. For now, I'm gonna use Star Fortune 0.13 uh, because it's the only one who have Epic Grammar for now. So let's get right into it. You need first to download the UML. For me, it's Epic UML. You simply have to replace your original assembly in the manage folder with it. After that, you start the application and these two folders will pop up, including this, if you have Windows folder. Actually, you can create this own folder, but this is for different parts. In the UMods folder today, I'm gonna use a unique unit faction by Bear. You can download that in the mod section. Okay. So, you can edit the mod using either Visual Studio Code or actually the inspire which I'm gonna use for today's video. Now, if you're first downloading it, you will see it's an empty. Everything is empty. So, you need to reference all of it. Every, every data on the minus folder. From that, from top, and shift, left click to open it all, to select all and open. This will reference the DLL to make the modding possible. Okay, we need to also reference the mod itself. Here. In here, you can edit the part of the mod to make the mod functional. Which, the most important is the init part because it's actually inject the mod to the game. For example, let's let's add one unit. Wait, you need oh yeah. To edit to edit the to make the mod you need to edit method or edit class. But I recommend just edit method because edit class will edit all of the class. So just let's add one and just change it to uh, test unit nah. bomber let's do that compile now if we start the game let's load it for wait for the mod to load for the game mode Sandbox just for testing. You will see that you need unit traction, crazy firework. Why isn't it safe yet? Is because you haven't saved the file. Yes, you need to save the file just to it just to make the mod or whatever code you just put in to work. For example, save model. Yeah, or you already saved the model, the unit units mod to the to the UMods file. Alright, so let's try it again. Okay. Sandbox. Malaysia Malaysia. Unique units faction boom boom. Now, this unit will have nothing in it, it will just become a template of a unit, don't have any special movement or attack because we haven't added the unit at all or have any special reference to it. So, if you do this normal punch, yes, so that's why. This other part, code of the spawn, code of spawn, edit blueprint, edit quotes, edit combat moves, edit projectile, edit weapons are important. In it delayed, you can use it for other mods, but not for now because we are not that advanced. So, for example, bomber unit. Let's try making him have a weapon at least, a bomb. So. You can just copy paste this 
or whatever one edit method paste paste it so it looks correct so man and hold me under and wait before I just remember before doing it you the most important part is the columns uh, I did yes I did look then because this is the one that I, the unit itself okay so example we do this and uh, and change the name to bumper uh, for now we just remove the beard and uh, maybe not right. for which the important part of this is this is a reference to the to the clothes or the cohesion for the unit and this is the actual weapon how to get it you can go to feed queens in clothes and weapons you can also change the unit base the sprite which is the sprite that used for the factions projectile for range weapon materials is for coloring materials which on unity faction is for already created faction explosion which we gonna use because it's a bomber effects which an effect that probably may, may come useful combat moves we're gonna make him jump like so we're gonna use those those five for now go to the dn spy and let's change this guy so first off holding with two hands turns to false you can copy paste this change this to let's change this to normal points which trigger potion effects weapons weapons let's change it to my metal grab metal grab and my metal grab okay so we have both my metal grab as a weapon and for clothes eh, it's f1 Bubble glove sounds fun. In object, basically just space whatever on top of it. But feed it. Clothes. And copy paste that. And done. So holding with two hands. What does it okay? I wonder if it doesn't it quotes quotes movement speed. Let's make him fast 1.5, but not too fast. Yes, he costs eh, 1000. It's multiplier 1.32. That's like bigger, maybe. Awesome. And then combat moves. Where is it? Oh, it looks like he doesn't gain that for movement. Okay. Now, if you have a trouble or for figuring out, you can always look out for another mod. For now, I'm gonna use my mod just to, for reference for this video. For the champions, champions. I'm just gonna look for adding an ability. I do clean. Ah, this is. And and that moves halberd block, but not halberd block. Just copy paste this. Command hmm, let's go. 
fucking stun so close to F. And uh, nothing jump. Replace that and uh, oh and if you're wondering what happened if I left the coma, just it's instantly got fixed in there. But when there's other table for example, I remove the contagion. It will give an error which gonna help you a lot. Compile and let's make this guy fancy. Hmm. Huh. Oh yeah. Spawn, edit method, fix this up. And just just add him in my in my false compile. Yes. It close. And it works. Let's change the close. Hmm. Yeah, let's change the boats to all of it to black. Ooh. Oh, this part missing you more code. Yes, I found that. Delete that and change bumper and bumper. I don't need. Just to play. using LG, which means the lower value means the upper value. Yes. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Okay, now I need to add the combat moves, edit projectile. Ah, it's not projectile, it's not using any projectile. Edit weapons. Oh, we don't have Okay, let's use this instead. Combo. Brewer. Osmo. Explosion. Explosion. Oh, this. Then we can use this. Cancel. It's not that that we want to edit. Okay, edit method, first bomber, no bomber yet, yeah, let's, let's do this first, okay, taking too much time, okay, hmm, And just move it because we're gonna edit the both left and right hand. Okay, explosion. Change it to a. Uh, hmm, explosion bomb cannon. Make him explode. Wow. That excited, but let's get fancy at an effects for him. Probably fire Mm, for fire whip, we need to add an effect, but just take an effect. 
a small duplication of this one. Copy, cancel. Edit my button, go back to the mock tool. You're gonna add it or make at that and change the effect to file. File with. Ah, no, no, no. Fire effect, so burning effect. Yes. Then I think that's it. Save the save the file, save the mod. Okay. And try running the game. Let's taste. Taste the edit of the mod. Okay, let's test it in simulation. Simulation, unit unit fraction, and let's see. Oh, I did. Looks like the day after. That's me. Hmm, explosion. So yeah, making mod is basically a uh, back and forward just to see your mod to work. Uh, oh, see, see, see. <laughs> haven't changed the the name. This is very important because this happens the actual unit. So the fisherman was exploding. Yeah, makes sense. So model, okay. Okay, let's back to testing it again. Sandbox, Malaysian simulation. Okay, unit faction, and uh, strike and guard. Now, if I have some something important I forgot to say, then you can correct me in the comment comment section. And also, importantly, if you want to get more description or more details on help, you can join the mod center invite on Discord, which I'm gonna put in the description. So, anyways, thanks for watching. See you later. Oh!